But since it's here, we pretty well take it for granted. We in America are particularly fortunate to live in the richest land that ever existed on the face of the earth, a land of abundant opportunity for everyone. But do you know what happens? Let's take a hundred men who start even at the age of 25. Do you have any idea what will happen to those men by the time they're 65? These 100 men who all start even at the age of 25 believe they're going to be successful. If you ask any one of these men if he wanted to be a success, he'd tell you that he did. And you'd notice that he was eager toward life, that there was a certain sparkle to his eye and erectness to his carriage, and life seemed like a pretty interesting adventure to him. But by the time they're 65, one will be rich, four will be financially independent, five will still be working, 54 will be broke. Now think a moment. Out of the 100, only five make the grade. Why do so many fail? What has happened to the sparkle that was there when they were 25? What's become of the dreams, the hopes, the plans? And why is there such a large disparity between what these men intended to do and what they actually accomplished? When we say about 5% achieve success, we have to define success. And here's the definition. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. If a man is working toward a predetermined goal and knows where he's going, that man is a success. If he's not doing that, he's a failure. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Rollo May, the distinguished psychiatrist, wrote a wonderful book called Man's Search for Himself. And in this book he says, the opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice, it is conformity. And there you have the trouble today. It's conformity. People acting like everyone else without knowing why, without knowing where they're going. Now think of it. In America right now, there are over 14 million people 65 years of age and over. And about 13 million of these 14 million are broke. They're dependent on someone else for life's necessities. Now we learn to read by the time we're seven. We learn to make a living by the time we're 25. Usually by that time, we're not only making a living, we're supporting a family. And yet, by the time we're 65, we haven't learned how to just land that has ever been known. Why? We conform. And the trouble is that we're acting like the wrong percentage group, the 95% who don't succeed. Now, why do these people conform? Well, they don't know, really. These people believe that their lives are shaped by circumstances, by things that happen to them, by exterior forces. They're outer-directed people. A survey was made one time that covered a lot of men, working men. These men were asked this question, why do you work? Why do you get up in the morning? 19 out of 20 had no idea. If you ask them, they'll say, everyone goes to work in the morning. And that's the reason they do it, because everyone else is doing it. Now let's get back to our definition of success. Who succeeds? The only man who succeeds is the man who is progressively realizing a worthy ideal. He's the man who says, I'm going to become this, and then begins to work toward that goal. I'll tell you who the successful people are. The success is the school teacher who's teaching school because that's what she wanted to do. The success is the woman who's a wife and mother because she wanted to become a wife and mother and is doing a good job of it. The success is the man who runs the corner gas station because that's what he wanted to do. The success is the successful salesman who wants to become a top-notch salesman and grow and build with his organization. A success is anyone who is doing deliberately a predetermined job because that's what he decided to do deliberately.